Welcome back to our reading, which we're continuing from Jesus Mentor Me, Becoming a Personal Apprentice of Jesus by Dr. Ed Poussin. And uh, um, Dr. Ed used to be my uh, theological teacher, and he was wonderful uh, and so insightful in bringing new things about Jesus. So today, uh, we're going to learn how was Jesus not like the scribes? So Jesus distanced himself from the scribes in a number of ways. He rebuked them for loving human recognition, exploiting widows, showing off at private prayer, or showing off at prayer, exalting tradition above God's word, and hypocrisy. We can read about this in Mark, Matthew 23, Mark 12, and Luke 20. All this rings true for the average Christian reader, but Dr. Poussin thinks it's a little bit one-sided because the inner Jewish tensions uh, were actually on the rise of the early church, and the Gospels naturally highlight the conflicts between Jesus and the scribes. So the first thing we, we, we uh, see in Jesus is that he is actually an unaccredited uh, an unordained and uneducated rabbi in, in the sense of the word. Jesus didn't receive a formal theological education as the scribes did. His disciples called him rabbi, but his critics call him uneducated, literally undiscipled. This can be seen in John chapter 7 and Mark chapter 6. So that's one of the things that Jesus was different from the other rabbis. He was uneducated. Uh, Jesus ran a school of his own, but he departed from the traditional model in striking ways. He was an unordained, uncredited rabbi. He rejected the formalities and respectabilities of the scribed education system. He didn't even teach in a school of study like other rabbis. He didn't wear the long robes of a scholar. He handpicked some of his closest disciples when he said, you did not choose me, but I chose you in John uh, 15, verse 16. And some might have considered his choices scandalous, for Jesus admitted women, tax collectors, and sinners into his school. He had at least three women in his inner circle, and many others followed him openly. This can be seen in Luke chapter 8 Mark, and Mark chapter 15. In that day and age, women were to keep a very low profile. Wherever they go out, they often wrap themselves up beyond recognition. Scholars were not even to talk too much with their own wives, much less with other women. But Jesus had women disciples, admirers, and supporters. So you can imagine the short waves rippling through the Galilean grapevine. So next week, we'll continue with uh, the other aspects of Jesus not being uh, like the scribes, and you can follow uh, this, these readings from this book on our YouTube channel, subscribe to the Mobility Church, or even follow us on Facebook, Instagram, 